Students at HCC that attend courses inside the Scarcella Science and Technology Building are sure to enjoy the vibrant displays of artifacts throughout the hallways. While doing so, many are sure to notice HCC's new biggest addition, but might wonder what exactly its significance is. Technical Support Supervisor Roland Fields explains. Well, what these are is a sample of this type of uh, tiles used on the space shuttle, uh, actually the older version, um, but what this is is this would be the heat resistant tiles to protect the actual shuttle body from re-entry heat or cold. These tiles are so good at thermally protecting the shuttle that you can actually be holding one of these tiles on the back side and at the same time have a blowtorch on the front and you will not feel it. So they don't transmit the heat to the body of the object behind it. So they're both thermally protective and, and uh, they keep it from you know, getting to the structure. So you might get titanium or some other metal or composite that might take the heat, but it would transmit the heat right through the metal as well. It would start glowing. So these on the back side, you don't feel the heat. So they're both, they act as a thermal blanket as well as just deflecting all the heat off the sides. Well, it's made out of silicon. Um, and what this particular tile system is for, you know, it's like, why is it the way it is? It's actually called uh, a black tile, even though what you're seeing is the white tile. It's because they actually took the surface off of it. So this would have been black tile all over. And what they were doing is doing debris testing. So they actually shot some items at it to see what the impact of the tiles was going to be. And that's why it's all chewed up. It wasn't beat up by accident or in a warehouse. It was deliberately done. And so they were doing measurement testing. You'll see little dots in a lot of the tiles. And they were doing centering and testing. Um, and so it'll never be replicated. It's a, it's a unique piece. Bills explains how a community college was able to get such an impressive piece. NASA has a system, a uh, really organized system. So they have a lot of things in the warehouse that they consider government excess and they have to get rid of. And what they do is they put it online. There's a website you can go to, which I'm actually going to do again today, and um, go and look at the items they are offering to institutions. And, and they actually have a tier system. The first tier, is NASA itself and other government institutions, and we're like second tier. So after NASA and all the major institutions look at things and decide whether they want or not, we get a chance at it, we apply for it. So Tom Lesh and uh, our Dean of, uh, of Sciences um, made the application, and we were granted the, ac the application, and we went down to NASA um, here in Houston and actually picked the item up. NASA and the shuttle program have been an important part of our area's history. Bills and his colleagues felt a sense of urgency about preserving it here at HCC. Well, some of us here at HCC wanted it because one, we're losing all the artifacts from the shuttle, uh, from the NASA program to other parts of the country. And it'd be nice to have something here because this is permanent loan. We keep this forever. And this is one of the pieces that, that you'll see and we can never replicate. The other one is it applies to the sciences. In other words, if you're talking about physics or chemistry, particularly for chemistry, you know, you have to have a really good understanding of chemistry and physics to understand how these tiles are actually created and what it took to do it. And it was a great engineering feat to make this work. So it's engineering, it's physics, it's chemistry, it's all those aspects of science. And you can study all those sciences here at HCC. Basically, they're basic science courses because they're not extreme astronomy, which is getting the heavy math, stuff like that. They're basic science courses and they give you just a beginner's touch of the general view of astronomy. And they're pretty good at that. And we have um, a, a actual group that we uh, do that with, a club. And we also invite public out. And so we do astronomy parties, what we call star parties, so that people can come and use our instruments to look at the sky. And we do that for fun. And sometimes that's in conjunction with the classes, and sometimes it's not. You know, the class chooses to show up or not, it's up to the teacher and the individual students. Um, but we have a uh, a good offering of astronomy classes, and you can just check with the with the uh, uh, department chair for uh, chemistry, and they're the people who lead the astronomy effort. For more information on science classes at HCC Southwest, visit their website at www.hccs.edu. For more information on Star Squad, visit their website at www.southwest.hccs.edu edu slash southwest slash students dash organization dash contacts. For HCC Beat, 
I'm James Hawkins. Thank you.